YouTube channel. I'm Tiffany. I am the bunny mom of this sweet little girl, Lulu. Look at this face. She's about five months old. She's a Holland Lop, which um, we got her when she was eight weeks old. So I've been raising her since then. So in this video, I am going to tell you the truth about, you know, you know, training the bunny and raising the bunny and all the good and the bad because you're going to have to have a lot of patience trust me, and some time because bunnies are a 10 year commitment. That's a long time you guys to like raise something and take care of it. So that's your number one thing before getting a bunny. Are you committed? You know, can you do this for 10 years? Two, you gotta be able to accept their personalities. Bunnies have different personalities. Some love, like love to cuddle and be petted and and just snuggle and then some just kind of want to live their own life and you know don't have that interaction so you have to be open to that as well because you never know what you're gonna get so let's talk about training when we brought Lulu home um, we made sure that she had a safe environment and that means that we have a dog as well so for the first week, we kind of kept them separated and let them get to know each other through a baby gate and sniff each other. And then when I knew that she would be safe, then I let them, you know, interact together um, while I supervise. But now they're like, you know, really good friends. So <laughs> um, another thing is um, you want to make sure that you can get them the things that they need. I mean, they don't cost a lot to take care of, but they do need certain things. So they love to eat hay and um, vegetables and you know, you wanna get high grade pellets and snacks and um, toys for them to play with because they are like little puppies. They like to chew on things and especially wood. So let's see, where do we start, Lulu? Hmm. Well, when we got her, um, obviously she wasn't litter trained because that's the number one key. When you have a bunny, you want them to be able to free roam. And why is that? Because they are made to hop around. I mean, if they don't hop around, they can get arthritis in their back legs and that could be bad. I mean, just think about it, you guys. Would you keep a dog or a puppy locked up in a kennel 24-7? Um, absolutely not. So why would you do that for um, a bunny that you're going to have as a pet? So that's another thing. Two, I mean, they're very social and they're curious. So you have to make sure that you baby proof, bunny proof your house, you know, removing the electrical cords and, and stuff like that. Um, Cause again, they like to chew. And um, when I talked about having time and patience, that goes along. If you're going to have your bunny like free roam around the house, the number one thing is to have them litter train, right? Because, I mean, you know, we don't want them just hopping. They do poop a lot. They do poop a lot. But, fun fact, they like to poop while they're eating. So, I'm going to show you in this video how I set up her litter box um, to do that. And then they're very smart. So, they catch on. But it does just take a little bit of time. And just keep in mind, I mean, they're going to have accidents. Does your puppy have accidents? Okay. They're animals, right? They're not you know, human beings. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you how her house is set up, her playtime is set up, and some other little things. And I hope this helps you guys um, to become the best bunny parent you could ever come because look at this face. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. And <laughs> she makes my day. Hey guys, we're on my back patio and this is where I keep Lulu during the day um, and when I'm at work because I work really long shifts and I feel like it's important for a rabbit to kind of be in their natural environment and you know have sunlight and fresh air. So I will show you how I keep her food. This was a really a uh, great idea that works good for us. Um, I've got this trash can. I filled it with her hay because she eats Timothy hay. And 80% of a rabbit's diet is going to be hay. So you got to keep a lot of it. I also give her these high quality pellets. They have carrots and everything in it. But it is important. You want to give them fresh vegetables and fruit and lettuce as well. But make sure you do your research and check because there's some things that are um, bad for rabbits. And you don't want to make them sick. I got this little thing and I filled it with her litter. And what 
the litter that she uses is 100% paper litter that's safe for um, animals and rabbits. And I reuse my little grocery bags to kind of keep the litter box clean. Just remember, your rabbit's not a cat, so do not give them cat litter. If you do, it can be very harmful because the clay, they can ingest it and then make them really sick. Right over here, I have this baby gate up. And the reason I have the baby gate up is because we have a dog and I don't want Lulu going outside and getting attacked by um, animals because, you know, the dog door. I have this really nice mat down. It's important to keep a soft surface for your rabbit to hop around because it could hurt their feet. We also got this nice hutch um, from Amazon. Super easy and cheap to um, get. A little cat hut that she loves to play around in. There's some sand in a cheap little um, bowl for her to dig because rabbits, they love to dig all the time. And then this is her litter box. This is what I was talking about. Um, rabbits love to poop and eat. So this is what you want to do. You want to fill half of it with litter and then the other half with hay and that way that they can eat and poop at the same time. And then there is her water as well. So when I take her inside, it's basically the same setup, but free roam and she has her litter box. If your rabbit tends to kind of poop in one little area, then move the litter box over there and then they should adjust to it. I hope, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, please reach out um, for me and Lulu and we'll help you along the way to become a great bunny parent.